as we are joined on the MP, MP Vivo Heating and Air Conditioning Hotline by the head football coach of the 3-0 and Letonia Bears, Paul Julia. Uh, coach Julia, how are you today, sir? Good, good. We're hanging in there. We're having, uh, you know, we're actually cleaning up the locker room right now. Uh, there you well, go. I, yeah, uh, you know, we're cleaning up the coach's office and whatnot. We're, we're trying to... You know, make it a little bit more presentable for the kids. Okay, so yeah. when the when the clock strikes midnight uh, in about uh, I don't know eleven hours from now, give or take a few minutes, are the Letonia Bears opting into the postseason? Oh yeah, we're we're going. Okay. We're, we're, yeah, we're 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 going. I, sure. I mean, that's that that's not a, not even a serious question because if you would have told me that you're opting out of the playoffs, I swear to God and everything that's holy, I would have left this studio, drove to Letonia, <laughs> and thrown you off the tallest building in Letonia, which is probably a floor and a half, so you wouldn't have been hurt all that much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we. Yeah, well, we we planned on no matter where we were sitting right now, Ron, we were going to go. We we were going to go. We were definitely going to play in that week seven playoff, give the kids a playoff experience, and uh, uh, you know, and because you know, we we thought it was, I, I mean, myself personally, uh, I, I like the way that they're doing it. Yeah, you, you know, I I like the fact that everybody gets an opportunity to go and play if they want to, and 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 I like the way they're doing it too. That they're giving teams an opportunity to opt out and just finish their season too. Which wouldn't be a bad idea doing everything that way, really. No, I, 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 I agree with that wholeheartedly. And, and I, the first few minutes of the show, I, um, after you know we updated what uh, Jason Kokrak is doing at the U.S. Open, which is pretty good. He's two under par through one round. Uh, it, it, it's, I, I look at the, the decision that every coach in the state of Ohio is going to be making before midnight – and I somewhat understand if a if a coach decides, hey, you know, we're uh, we're going to opt out because our team really isn't all that good, or uh, we're going to opt out because um, we just we don't feel comfortable playing against a high powered team more than likely in the first round. To which I, I kind of sort of understand that, but most of me is like, wait a second. You're you're protecting your your kids from something that they're going to ultimately be doing in real life anyway. Because I don't know about you, Coach. Real life has kicked my ass more than a number of times, and you know, <laughs> it, it, okay, that's that's part of living. I, I have no problems if if uh, if a coach from a an zero and six team uh, wants to uh, wants to measure their team against one of the elite programs in their region I, I think it's a great idea you know I, I i get that end of it too ron i mean there's 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 a lot of different ways to look at it you know and i and i understand that but the, the unique thing is for for everybody you know and, and i've said this several times to the guys on my staff it's so it, it's a weird year coaching because we know we're in the playoffs you know, because, you know, later on in the season or early in the season, where, wherever it is, all 10 games, there's a tremendous amount of pressure on the, uh, on the program because you have to, you, you really, you, you've got to win games if you want to go. And, and you know, because I've always equated it, when, when, and we're looking at football. College football and high school football is very similar because, I mean, if you've got an 11-game season, you know, in college football, and you dump one, you know, for whatever reason, you play poorly in a ball game, or you know, your your opponent figures something out that you've been that you've been very successful at, and you don't have an answer, and you dump a game, you're pretty much out of the national championship conversation. But you know, and in high school too, if you dump one that you probably should win, you're you're out. So it puts a tremendous amount of pressure on the. You know, on the athletes, because because you look at professional football, those guys are just they're just running the ten wins because they figure ten wins is going to get them into the playoffs off of a sixteen game schedule. So you know, there's a lot less in season pressure on those guys than there is on uh, you know a high school kid or a college kid. Yeah, the regular season means a whole lot more in in college ball and and especially in high school. And you know, I, I listen. I love the way the OHSAA uh, normally has their playoff uh, situation with a computer poll and whatnot. But I, I'm looking at this this year. 
okay, yeah, it's a six-game schedule, and under the circumstances, uh, okay, I, I see uh, they're trying to make the best of, of, of what they can. I kind of like the idea that everyone gets into the playoffs or at least has an opportunity to get into the playoffs and they make it a seven-week postseason. And the, the further you go, obviously, uh, the, the more, the more you, uh, you get an opportunity to uh, suit up and play. Uh, and if you get bounced and, and you haven't played 10 games yet and you want to get your 10-game season in, uh, you can do that as well. I, I think under the circumstances, uh, whoever decided to do this in the state of Ohio, A-plus to them. This, I think under the circumstances, I love what they've done this year. Uh, I agree, Ronnie. I mean, I, I think it's I think it's a good format. I I, I think it's you know it's exciting and it's creating a lot of conversation about high school athletics, about high school football, you know, which is always a good thing. And, you know, when you're a high school football coach like I am, and, you know, where where there's 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 tons of conversation now about you know are they opting out? What are they going to do? You know, and there's you know the ads are you know emailing and texting back and forth you know, scrambling for games and, and, and whatnot, and it's fun. I mean, it really is. It's, 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 it's a completely, you know, for an old-timer like me that's been, you know, kind of coaching forever, um, you know, it's a completely new environment, and it's, and it's been fun to be part of. Paul Hulia, our guest, he is the head football coach over at Letonia, bears off to a 3-0 and season. Uh, they get Wellsville uh, down by the river uh, Friday night, uh, then they're – I, is it still a home game, even though you're playing at Youngstown State? Yeah, it's our home game. You know, we'll be obviously on the home side, and then, you know, we'll wear our homers. They'll wear their away, and you know, it's kind of neat too. I mean, East Palestine's going to be able to bring their whole band as well to an away game, and, and you know, all their cheerleaders and you know and whatnot, and uh, uh, you know, they're going to have as many tickets as they want as well. So, so it's a great opportunity for both communities to be able to get some people in, in the state, in Youngstown State Stadium. And, you know, and, and our kids and their kids get an opportunity to compete in, in a beautiful facility. I mean, Youngstown State's football facilities, you know, it's gorgeous. For one double A, I mean, you can make a, an argument it's the finest in the country. And, and, uh, um, and you know, our, our kids are excited about it, and I'm sure East Palestine's kids are as well. Is that a game that's going to be played on a Saturday night, Paul? Yes. We're going to play on Saturday night at seven. Yeah, you know, and and not only that, I mean, you uh, you could possibly get some interest from uh, from those that may want to be able to scarve up what few tickets uh, are available for the public for uh, for a Saturday night game. So, you know, and, and hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, you guys will be four and zero when you take on East Palestine. But uh, you got to slay a tiger uh, uh, before you uh, before you even think about. Uh, having a four and zero record now, Wellsville has given up a boatload of points, uh, and it should be. And I and I use air quotes when I say should be a a victory for Letonia. But you know as well as I do, uh, trying to get into the minds of fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen year old kids, uh, not exactly the easiest thing to do, Coach. Uh, no, it, no, it is not. <laughs> it's definitely. It's a difficult thing, and Wells is a great team too. I mean, they, they've, you, you know, they they've definitely they're you, you know just being league, they uh, um, you know they've had a tough road too. I mean, they you know they're sitting in one and two, and you know they got a good Lisbon team you know week one, and uh, you know because everybody was shaky week one, uh, you know because one scrimmage, you know nobody. I mean the conversation and it was programs all over the state. You know, the conversation was social distancing and no breaks. And, you, you know, do you have your mask on? And, you know, are you washing your hands enough? <laughs> you know, who's touching the football? I mean, you know, those were the conversations going into the game. And there wasn't, you know, the conversations weren't a lot to do about football. And um, so, you know, they, they, they played a really – they beat a really good Lisbon team, one. And, uh, um, you know, and they played Southern United. We know Southern's a great program. You know, Coach Wright does an outstanding job. And United's got a roller. I mean, DJ, you know, DJ, the, the way they're throwing the ball, they are, they are very, very difficult. So, you know, Wellsville, when you're just in the league and it's a short season, 
that one and two record for Wellsville, to me anyways, especially after watching them on film, we watched quite a bit this week, um, it really is kind of meaningless be, because, uh, you, you, you know, because of who they play. You know, so, so we've just got to go out and be ready and, uh, you, you know, and go down and, you know, take our bus trip and, you know, be ready play, to play and make it into a business trip and, and be focused on our task and we'll see what happens. How cool is it for you as a coach to look at Southern? And we, we talked about, uh, and you alluded to Southern's program. You guys knocked them off in week number one, 14 to 13. How cool is it from uh, from your guys' perspective that Southern in the last two games has only given up six points, and yet you guys have scored 70% of the points that Southern has given up this year? Uh, you guys scored 14 of those 20 points uh, that the Indians have given up. That I mean, that's that's got to make you uh, that's got to make you and the coaching staff feel really, really good. Well, it, it, you know, comparative scores are comparative scores, but uh, um, yeah, you, you, you know, we were able to, uh, you, you know, we, you know, we we got into something offensively in the second half that was, uh, you know, that worked because. Uh, you know what we were doing the first half didn't. <laughs> so, uh, uh, you, you know, and uh, you know, and we put together a couple drives, and you know, Marco popped one late, and uh, you know, we had a great goal line stand. So, you know, I mean, it was, and you know, and I said that after the Southern game, you know, it was a great high school football game. I mean, it really was. It was, it was great to be part of. Uh, you know, and and, uh, and I, I'm just kind of the only thing that kind of bums me out is that we. Because we, we the stadium would have been packed if we'd have, if we'd have been able to let everybody in, and and it would have been one about and, and people will talk about in this community for years to come because it, it 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 was a great game, great team effort, uh, you, you know, from everybody involved, and uh, it and it, it it was just a lot of fun. Uh, certainly was Paul Julia our guest. Uh, Paul, obviously. Um a resurgence of of in some way uh, for the Bears, and you know with the with the uh, teams across the state of Ohio uh, deciding whether they want to be in or or opt out of the postseason, depending on how many teams decide to opt out, you could be redistricting or re-regionaling uh, the, uh, the, the whole uh, playoff scenario. Uh, you could be looking at some some interesting uh, potential playoff opponents. And, and then you have uh, you uh, and, and the rest of the head coaches in the uh, updated region will start seeding teams. And I, I would imagine if if you guys uh, win your next couple of games, I, I, at least I would think, Letonia would get a pretty high seed. Well, we hope to. Uh, you know, it, it's and, – and so much of that is what – and what – we don't know the mystery right now uh, is how they're going to redistrict. You know, that's what we don't know. Uh, we, we don't know what, you know, where we're going to land or, and nobody does really uh, in the whole state that's going into the playoffs. So where we land as far as our seed is really going to determine by where we're put as far as either district or region or whatever you want to call it. So, you know, those are, you know, those are, you know, because we're supposed to know that by this weekend, from what I understand, that they're supposed to, because today is the drop dead date for whether you're in or out, and and then the state's supposed to redistrict it all, have it all done by tomorrow. So this weekend it's supposed to be out, and we're supposed to know, and then the following weekend we're going to seed it after week five. So, uh, you, you know, where we land is going to, because there's a lot of really good Division Seven teams, you know, from you know Trumbull down to the river. And, you know, there, there's there's a lot of really great programs out there. I mean, you look at, you know, JFK, McDonald, Jackson, Milton's got it rolling this year. Um, you, you know, um, you know, you go to uh, uh, you know Lucas is in our region right now, uh, and they're a long way away. So I, I don't know where. Well, they well they will land. You got Toronto. You got Steubenville Central Catholic. So there's a lot of really good D7 programs that are in the in this region in our region right now. now are they going to split the region? Are we going to wind up going north? Are we going to wind up going south? I I don't know. <laughs> you know, we're we're just going to find out moving forward. But but it's part of the fun though. 
I mean, I think it's part of the excitement because a lot of people are having discussions about those things right now, you know, not knowing what the state's going to do, which is, which is kind of neat because I know, you know, as a staff, I mean, I got some math guys on my staff, and they're way smarter than I'm with that stuff. I mean, they're, they've created like 25 different scenarios, you know. And so, so it should be fun to see what happens. Well, one thing is for certain, and, and uh, this is coming from a uh, Letonia grad, I will have zero problem with Letonia not playing Columbiana this year if you guys are in the playoffs and you get to Week 10. Uh, that means that you guys are still in the postseason, and if you get to 10 games and, and – and you don't have Colombiana on the schedule, that tells me that you're still in the postseason, and I'm okay with that. So uh, it, it, the only way that you get you guys get Colombiana is if you get bounced out of the postseason. So yeah. with all due respect, as much as I love watching Letonia Colombiana every single year, I got no problems with no Colombiana this year mm-hmm. on the schedule. Well, I'm the same way, you know, Ronnie, because it's, it's – and I've said this to the kids several times. You know, I've been blessed over the years coaching-wise. Uh, you know, I've made runs in the playoffs, you know, at different schools and, and uh, um, you know, the head coaches and the assistant. And there's nothing that gets a community jazzed up more than winning a playoff football game. You know, there, there really isn't. I mean, it gets the whole community jazzed up and they're all excited and, you know, you become the toast of the town. So, you know, for our kids, they, they've put in a tremendous amount of effort this year, you know, all the way back to – January we started off season and uh, and uh, you know our seniors have done an outstanding job of leading this group. You know I I hope they get that opportunity. Uh, you know because it's 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 fun to be part of. And you know like I said I, I have it on a few occasions myself. So you know hopefully these kids can experience that. Well, well. Hope, hopefully next Saturday uh, as many people will go to Youngstown State as possible and and uh, it's just a nice a, a nice little reward. Uh, for a really good season and an opportunity uh, in this COVID world, where you know if you're if you still have that game at Letonia, fifteen percent of of a, a very small stadium equals a really really small amount of tickets. Put the game in a larger venue and give the uh, give the entire town an opportunity to come see what has been a, a fun fun year in Letonia. Uh, I, hopefully, uh, hopefully everyone gets an opportunity to see this team next Saturday. Well, I feel the same way, Ron, and we're you know we're hoping to have a student section too because I think that's part of the excitement of of uh, you know of being uh, you know of a football season or a basketball season where the kids get to go to the games and you know they they can rally around each other you know a little bit and uh, you know and everybody kind of goes together you know and it's nice there's a lot of you know there's a lot of great you know it's a saturday you could really make it into a nice family event get some tickets you know on the way somewhere stop somewhere you know get get a bite to eat or you know there's a lot of big parking lots you know in youngstown state tailgate you know go down there tailgate a little bit come into the stadium you know watch a high school football game and it could be a great experience for the community a lot of and a lot of community members you know, I, I don't know if you realize that uh, the Italian American Club in Letonia has been watching the uh, the Bears this year. Uh, do uh, with uh, YSNLive.com. dot uh, com. You've got yeah, an awful I, lot of people. Yeah. Have, have they been doing pretty well? Uh, yeah, they've they've uh, they've had a very nice amount of people uh, coming down to uh, the Italian American Club to watch the Bears play. And and since I have a week off because I'm. You know, normally broadcasting Crestview games and the Rebels are on the road and I'm not doing any games. Uh, I'm going to be uh, heading down there to watch you guys and uh, hopefully I'm not a jinx. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't believe in any of those things. But, uh, uh, yeah, that, that's fun. I'm glad. Another thing is we talked about this before. We are going to have this, we are going to have the dinner, the spaghetti dinner. Yes. Uh, but we're going to do it after, we're, and we're going to have it at the ITAM. We're going to do it after the season. Well, I'm I'm in charge of uh, doing the meatballs. I, I um, promised Coach Aldemore, uh, whoever won the game, I would provide the meatballs. So I will. Uh, you let me know what day it is, and I'll uh, I'll have a, a crap load of meatballs for everyone. Well, that's that that's awesome. So we are going to do it because we we thought it was too short notice to just throw it together. We want to do it right, so we're, we're going to do it after the season. So. Uh, you know, uh, um, Matt was excited about it, and you know, in our community and their community is as well. So, 
So hopefully we'll be able to continue that tradition and put it back together. All I, like I know, it, listen. I like doing it after the season too. I think it's kind of a neat concept. Yeah, know, absolutely. Yeah, Coach. I I'll tell you what. All I know is both communities still have enough Italian people in their communities where okay. you are going to get a really really good Italian meal out of the deal. Well, that's what we. You know, you know what I'm. I tell a lot of people I'm not very good at many things anymore. The older I get but I can still eat. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, you and me both, especially when it comes to spaghetti. Uh, that, yeah, it's, uh, that, 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 that bowl disappears uh, pretty quickly uh, in my presence, that's for sure. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Hey, <laughs> Coach, al- always a pleasure, sir. Uh, continued success, and, and uh, hopefully next Saturday night uh, a bunch of people from Letonia get an opportunity to go to Youngstown State and you know, I don't, I don't want to, uh, you know, I don't want to tell the uh, the folks at YSU what to do, but Marco Ferry would look really good in a Penguins uniform. I'm just saying. Yeah, it's, I've, I've I've mentioned that to a few guys down there. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, always a pleasure, sir. Already, hey, thanks, Ronnie. We appreciate it. You got it, uh, Paul Julia, the head football coach of the Letonia Bears.